Hello friends, as soon as you clone the project, some of you might face some of the null pointer exception or zip exception related to invalid LOC header. So I'm going to provide a solution for this one, how you can overcome this particular problem and you can run your Tomcat and deploy your application on top of it. Some of you might have not faced this problem, but this would come in handy. Okay, so let's just go with that one. Let me show you the error which I'm getting here. As you can see, I'm also getting the null pointer exception. So this is a different machine on which I have cloned my project. And you can just verify here from here that it is related to a zip exception invalid LOC header. So what happens once we use a Maven project, it downloads the jar from a remote location and catch it locally. And it may happen that we may have a we may have a corrupted download so how to find that particular jar which is causing this particular error okay so that is what i'm going to discuss in this particular video as a first step i am going to go on set the run menu and click on this command that is add java exception breakpoint and then we're going to filter out zip exception from that one because this is what my console is also telling me that this is related to a zip, zip exception so i'm gonna click on this run Okay, okay, first thing, but uh, that run command is not going to show you that add Java class exception. Okay, so what you can do, you can open any of the file. So let me open up my Hibernate config file. So that's what I've done here. We'll go to run. And now you can see that we have a add Java exception breakpoint available here. If you're not opening any file, let me close it once again. And if I show you run, you cannot find that particular option available. So you can open up any file. So I'm opening up this Hibernate config.java file. Then I'll click on run and click on add Java exception breakpoint. Okay, inside this you can just filter out your zip exception. So I've selected this one. Okay, and so it has been selected. Now, after selecting it, so click on if you double click it or if you click on OK button, that's completely fine. Then you can run the Tomcat container in debug mode. Okay, it will ask you to open in the debug perspective and click on the yes button. So I'm just going to click on this server tab here here is the debug option so i'm telling it to start the server in debug mode so yes it is asking me so i want to open up the debug perspective so it is open now select the jar file dot get manifest from the reference and inside this look for a property which is name inside the variables window so let us click here get manifest from reference inside this this variable window we're gonna look for that name property which is this one right and you can see here this is the jar file which is causing the error which is related to h2 okay so i have found the jar which is causing that particular problem okay so now to solve that one i will go to my m2 directory which is present in user and the account name which you have used it to logged in and i'm going to look for the m2 directory so what i did to save some time i've already opened my the c drive user my name and that m2 directory and inside that you will find there is a repository directory is there okay so i'm going to look for that particular jar file so if you want to find how you can look for it so you can open up okay so now i'll again go back to the normal mode i will open up my pom.xml file for the shopping backend project go to the source view okay now if you see here inside this this is the place like com.h2 database and there is a file with h2 name and the version is 1493 but for this particular project i am going to use an h2 which is version of 195 at the time of this recording it was available as 195 so i'm just going to uh, i'm going to save it afterward but let us first delete that particular repository so you as i told you it would be inside com okay h2 database there is this h2 with that artifact id and here is this particular jar okay so this is basically corrupted so what you can do you can simply go back you can simply delete this h2 database from here okay once this is done okay and then you can simply modify this thing and save it okay so that's what I've written in this next step. Either you can update the pom.xml file or you can right click on the project and do a maven update. That will also do. Okay, so I'm just going to right click and go to maven and update this project. Okay, and simply click on OK. You can see from this. Okay, so that's fine. 
my workspace is getting build once again and my project is getting updated okay so my workspace has built okay now if i show you that m2 directory once again if i do a refresh you can see h2 database available here h2 and this time it is 195 and i have this particular jar available okay so all i need to do is need to go back to the server and start the server once again it may not necessary that this is going to be related to h2 it may be related to spring or any other dependency i just told you how to find that particular dependency so once this is done i will just open up chrome I'll do HTTP colon local host and we'll do T80. Where's my Chrome browser? Here it is. Okay, so now the name of the project which is going to be online shopping. Okay, I missed out on something. Maybe it is online shopping. Oh, again, if you don't know, you can just simply go back. Uh, it's been long since I'm taken this thing, so I'll just go back to the this context what it is it uh, properties okay it is online shopping so nah, it's not coming maybe I need to check the port number once again Okay, so it is not loading this one. So I'll go back and check the console here. Okay, so I have some errors here. So the error says I have, okay, connection refuse. So I know what this error is all about. So I forgot to start my H2 server. So I'll just go back and you can see my H2 server is available in Java utility H2 inside this bin. So I have this available, this jar file, which is .195. That's why I've changed it inside my pom.xml file. So I will just open it up. So you can see uh, browser quickly opens up where I have this HT server and everything so that's fine you just need to open up and have that Java process running now what I will do I will just simply go back to server and restart this server once again so as you can see my server is started so now I will go back to my Chrome browser so I had my online shopping available I will do a control F5 If you want to see in the background all the processes and the URL getting mapped okay so now if you see it here my website gets loaded okay so this is what the solution that you can find for invalid LFC header and all those things don't worry I've just going to complete this particular project and that's why I was cloning it into a different machine so I thought it would be best to show you how you can overcome that particular problem once you clone that particular project thanks for watching and stay tuned for my rest of the videos which are coming soon